Hello friends. In this video I want to share a cool way I came up with to send redstone signals upwards using tridents. I thought of this while working on my latest drown farm video as a more elegant and ironic alternative to the torch tower for turning the trident killer on and off. With this system you can use the trident to power the trident to get the tridents. So as you may know, in bedrock edition dispensers can launch tridents. Tridents also have a very straight trajectory and a high speed, so they can reliably hit a target block about 25 blocks up when shot from a dispenser. To turn this into a fun, safe, and reusable switch, you need three things. A way to automatically return the trident back down, a toggle at the receiving end, and a safe and easy activation and collection system. For the auto return, we need to detach the trident. And the only reliable way I've found to do this is to pull the target block upward. So this is a pretty simple circuit to accomplish that. The target block is attached to a sticky piston facing downward. And then when the target is hit by a trident, it powers this redstone line here, which shuts off the torch, which retracts the uh, piston. So let me just demonstrate from the side. You can see it's detached. Now for the toggle at the receiving end, well, let me just show you this from the bottom first. Now for the toggle at the receiving end, uh, we just need to attach a T flip-flop to the circuit. Uh, this is a simple T flip-flop with two hoppers. There's one item in them, and the uh, block here next to this hopper and the torch here next to this hopper stay powered, uh, uh, except for while the trident or the target block is being hit. So um, every time the target block is hit, the item switches hoppers. Oh, and that one trident hit the button down here. That's why it shot another one up. If we just shoot a bot trident from the bottom, it looks like that. Now for the activation and collection, um, obviously you can just push a button as I've been doing there, but it may be more convenient in an actual build, like if you had a trident killer above like this, to have a pressure plate you can just walk up to. But you don't want to walk into the trident that's shooting out of the dispenser, so if you put a uh, trap door at head height like this, then you can safely walk up to it. It shoots the trident, which uh, activates the switch, and then as the trident drops straight back down onto the dispenser, you're, you'll be close enough that it goes directly into your inventory. And then with a hopper next to the dispenser like this, you can return your tridents. So right now that trident killer is on, as you can see. The loot is dropping. And we just step up here to fire another trident, immediately get it back, and the trident killer is shut off. So let me just show you what the circuit looks like up at the top of this one. Uh, same as before, I just have um, the uh, comparator reading the uh, hoppers there, going over to a torch up to a, a block to this dust in front of the observer to turn the um, trident killer on and off. Now I have an extra torch up here to power this command block uh, to actually only spawn drowned while I have it running, that way it doesn't overload for the demo. But um, you could have whatever kind of trident killer you had here, if you had uh, rails or some other redstone block there that was being detected by the observer, it would um, the switch part of this would work just the same. So simple enough to build. That is the trident-based vertical switch. You can use this for any number of applications, like maybe an elevator return or a retractable roof. It is yours to play with. Now go and impress your friends.